Hi friends, I am Akil Kasam. I am here to tell about the hydrology. Today I am going to deal about hydrology topics. Today we are going to know about what is precipitation and what are the forms of precipitation and types of precipitation. Precipitation. Precipitation denotes all forms of moisture that reaches the ground from atmosphere. And let me know the forms of precipitation. Rain occurs from the atmosphere. Forms of precipitation. Precipitation has different forms. Uh, rain, rainfall, drizzle, snow, snowfall, silt, hail. Rain and drizzle are water droplets and snow, silt and hail are ice crystals. Rain. R rain means water droplet size is greater than 0.5 mm intensity greater than 1 mm per hour intensity of rainfall is defined as the ratio of rainfall to the time i equals to dp by dt equals to p by t based on the intensity i intensity rainfall are classified into light rain moderate rain heavy rain i equals to 1 mm per hour to 2.5 mm per hour then we called it as an light rain and intensity is in between 2.5 mm per hour to 7.5 mm per hour it is known as moderate rainfall and heavy rain heavy rain is intensity of the rainfall greater than 7.5 mm per hour drizzle drizzle has water droplet size as less than 0.5 mm Intensity of the drizzle is less than 1 mm per hour. Intensity is inversely proportional to the time. Snow or snowfall. Fine ice crystals less than 1 mm is known as snowfall. Silt, frozen, rain. Ice crystals of size is equal to 1 mm to 5 mm. It is known as silt. Hail. Ice crystals of size greater than 8 mm. Let me know about types of precipitation. Majorly there are four types of precipitations. Convective precipitation, or orographic precipitation, frontal precipitation, cyclonic precipitation. Let me know about the brief about each and every type of precipitation. Initially, convective precipitation. Convective precipitation occurs due to the heating of ground. Temperature difference between moist air and its surroundings. Example of convective precipitation is summer rains, high intensity rain occurs for short period. This is the figure representing convective precipitation. If we observe the figure, the sun heats the ground and the temperature rises and the difference in the temperature uh, gives us the convective precipitation as a rainfall and orographic precipitation orographic precipitation occurs due to topographic obstructions such as mountains and hills this rains occurs at the mountain regions initially moist air travels through travels and it hits the abstraction it is topographic barrier or orographic obstruction and it produces the precipitation and the left of the topographic barrier is wind ward side and the right of the topographic barrier is lee ward side it is rain shadow area but there is no rain it appears to be raining frontal precipitation it is the combination of warm air and cold air that from the figure we observe the front the front is the line between the warm air, warm air and cold this front act as an interface between the two different faces of air there are two types of formal precipitations warm air front precipitation cold air front precipitation warm air front air frontal precipitation
from the figure we can know the warm air frontal precipitation the warm air comes in a motion and hits the cold air which is in the static state and the precipitation forms cold air frontal precipitation cold air comes in a motion and hits the warm air and passes through the static warm air body and forms precipitation rains during rainy season is majorly due to the cold air frontal precipitation cyclonic precipitation cyclonic precipitation is a large area of low pressure region it is also known as depression the cyclones comes from different places and hits the objects and it produces the precipitation cyclonic precipitation occurs due to the pressure difference between the ground and large water